Could this model be the latest release from Google or from OpenAI? Let's have a look and see. So this Kassar Alpha has just been released on OpenRooter, which is a place for essentially using large language models. It's a place you can use it for APIs or for chatting, a bunch of different ones. Go to models, you can check them out. But Kassar Alpha was released on here. Now it was released via this Twitter post or this X post where they're excited to announce their first ever stealth model. So that's the reason we don't know what it is. It's been released, but cloaked, which means that someone, basically a company, is working with OpenRooter to release this model without telling anyone what it is, under the idea that it's to gather some feedback to build a bit of uh, momentum. So it's a 1 million token context length, which is crazy. That's the same as Gemini, um, the highest that we have so far. And it's specifically optimized for coding, but it is general purpose as well. So could it be the next level up of like OpenAI's 4.5? Or could it be the next level up of Claude? Or could it be a Gemini which is altered for codings, like a, a 2.5 Ultra or a 3.0 Ultra or something? Um, but it is completely free as well. So the way we can go and use it, so first we'll go and use it and then we'll test it. So if we come over here, to open router, we can actually click on chat and it will just go straight into here and we can test it. Um, but first, just before we test it, in regards to this whole coding thing being optimized, if we go to Reddit, there are people chatting about it and you can see how it compares to the other models. So, open router Kassar Alpha 174, right? That's the how many it's passed. You can see the tokens in and out, the cost and duration. So, it's completely free. Um, which is weirdly misleading. It's free to the consumer, but it doesn't mean that it's free to run for the company that's running it. So here, OpenRouter will be having to subsidize it, which is the reason it's free. Um, so anyway, that's by the by. But you can see here that it's the fastest in duration, and, and it passes just as many as Claude 3.5 on it. So the likelihood that it's the next Claude is zero, probably, because it's worse than 3.7. The likelihood that it's the next from Google Pretty slim, Jim, because again, 182 and this is 174. Although it could be an enhanced version because, as you can see, it's much faster, although less less uh, accurate or less correct. But in reference to OpenAI, you can see that it's actually better than any OpenAI model, meaning it's most likely to be some OpenAI, which actually, if you check on Twitter, that's what people have been saying. So people are asking if it's 4.0 that's been fine-tuned for coding abilities. Um, fine-tuned basically being where you like kind of add an extra layer of training on top of a model to make it better at some particular task or way of doing things um, or other people are actually asking oh my mouse has just died oh that's unfortunate um, <laughs> or other people are asking actually is this um, the open weights model that Sam Altman's been talking about coming from chat GPT because um, you can see here that if you ask it what are you based on it says I'm based on OpenAI's GPT architecture which is very interesting um, but then I was googling and uh, couldn't find anything on what the name meant so I asked chat GPT um, what it meant let me see and Kassar is short for qua Quasar I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it um, Quasi Stellar Radio Source it's short for that um, a real astronomical object, extremely bright and distant objects powered by massive black holes. No for emitting massive amounts of energy. So it could just be that's, um, you know, whatever. That's just someone just chosen that. Or it could be something to do with Grok, possibly. Um, which is possible because, you know, Grok logo, you know, hmm, who knows. So anyway, let's... Um, Let's have a test and see. So if we get in the chat room first and you can see like, um, who are you? And we can see that it will come back and it will actually tell us that it's uh, been created by OpenAI. But I was commenting on some guy's YouTube video saying that that could be a double bluff um, because you could just easily wrap it around. Because if you think about it, these models, they learn based on the input and output, right? But they do have uh, limitations on them and kind of like if-then clauses um, because... If you think about it, they can't have, for example, why would Claude say I'm Claude? Why would Grok say I'm Grok? Why would Gemini say I'm made by Google? Unless they were told explicitly to say that because that's not in the training data of the internet. You know, this is by Google. I mean, it might be, but unlikely. 
um, it's kind of edge cases as well as like when you don't want it to generate specific bad things you can also stop that from happening not through the training but through the kind of filtration process of how it's going to give an answer uh, but also through the training but yeah anyway so we have this here let's give it a test so i'm going to go over to my school community where i have um we have updates every day we've started doing it uh, towards the end of march and then all of april we have updates every single day on what's happening in ai the biggest announcements um but my community is called applied ai it's all about applying ai there's a community portion here where people are chatting away talking about what they're applying and uh, things that they're doing, AI news, etc. But the essence of applied AI is to take you from knowing literally nothing, right? So, but you can come at any level because we do have solutions architects, software engineers, etc. But come in at any knowledge base, get a fundamental understanding of AI. What is it? How to use them? Agents? What are the agents? What is RAG? What is prompt engineering? All this stuff. And then once you have that foundation, you can then build on that by understanding the technology that actually underpins it. So how does it actually work, you know, under the hood? How are servers working? Because you need to know this if you're going to apply AI. And then we have the tools of AI for content creation, building these AI solutions, so like NAN, and then coding with AI as well. So a bunch of stuff um, essentially teaching you how to apply AI. So anyway, if we go to the updates and tools, and we go to Quasar Alpha, I have a testing plan here, right? So we're going to test Alpha, 4.0, Gemini, and Grok. And then I'm just going to do Claude anyway, just since, yeah, why not? Um, and the props we're going to use, so it's mainly for coding, but the best way to show coding is by creating a website, right? Especially for videos. But I thought, let's try and do text generation too. So I'm going to copy this prompt here. And what we'll do is we'll just paste it in. So if we go to the chat room, we could test it against even more models by clicking add model. Um, but I don't really think, there's any reason to test it against like Mistral and Quen and Deepseek because I feel like it's unlikely to be any of those. So let's paste that in here, explain why the moon doesn't fall the sky like I'm five, think of an analogy, blah blah blah. Make sure it's two sentences we'll say as well because I don't want it to be excessive, especially not for on video. So we'll send that in, we'll see what it says. The moon doesn't fall out because it's moving really fast around the air so it keeps going in a big circle instead of dropping straight down. <laughs> It's like being on a merry go round. If you hold on tight and spin fast, you don't fall off. But stay going round and round. Yeah, but that's only if I hold on tight. I don't know. That's a rubbish one. But anyway, uh, that answer was so bad it makes me think it might be ChatGPT. <laughs> so if I go to ChatGPT, we'll ask it the same question. Let's paste that in here. And we have 4 oh. So the moon doesn't fall out because it's moving fast. It's like being on a merry go round. If you let go, you'd fly off. You hold on tight. Right, that actually seems really really quite similar They're like pretty much the same answer let's see how how google does um so let's see gemini will paste that in here command enter and uh we'll let that think because it will want to think for a while we'll put this into grok as well blah 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 imagine your main ground does drop because you're spinning around pull, pulling it just like earth and the moon so i feel like the format in here just looks slightly different um but that format is like almost identical to that, which is, uh, yeah, I think it might be ChatGPT. Um, oh, this one's actually really quite similar too. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's like being pushed outwards. Let me see. Okay, imagine the air's pulling the moon towards it, like blah, blah, blah. Really, really fast. Uh, mm, I feel like that's probably not it. That's probably not it. And then Claude. Oh, it's just getting Claude to test all the stuff, but he kind of died. I don't know why everyone says Claude's amazing for coding. I, I don't find it. I have found it good sometimes, but not often. Right, that's just... I know I said two two sentences, but it's given me two paragraphs. I don't know. And comma spliced it. But yeah, so probably not Claude. So now we'll get these answers. I'm thinking it's ChatGPT. So let me go back here and we'll copy the next prompt, which is actually about building a simple web page. So let me copy that. And we want it to create a simple web page that I just put in my name, say look, right? And then I'm able to see that in 3D and move around it, which I thought would be quite cool because it allows them to be creative as well. So let's paste that into here. We'll paste it into Claude. Boom. Let Claude start making that. We'll paste one into Grok. Boom. Let Grok make that. Gemini here, I don't think from the AI Studio we can use Canvas. 
So what we're going to do is if we just write in Gemini, we can use the canvas from here. So let me create a new chart. Click on Canvas, and from here then it's going to allow us to render and write the code um, directly inside Gemini, which is cool. ChatGPT will do the same, uh, but this will automatically pick up the uh, canvas, and then here, paste that into. So, J Claude first, Claude takes ages. Last time when I made the comparison video, some guy was like, well, it's because you're not using ultra super high mm, setting or whatever, right? But it's not here. I use the free one, so I can't see it on the free one. So, um, yeah, I'm testing free versions. Right, so let me put my name in, render 3D name. Not working. Right, so call it doesn't work. That's fair enough. We have here... Uh, this one is from Grok. Let's preview it and we'll see. Again, let's try and look. Render. Again, nothing. Oh, come on, someone. Someone work, please. Display name. Again, nothing. Hey, this is crazy. Let me see if I open this in Canvas. Then we click preview, allow all of this stuff, that's fine. Come on, chat GPT. Render, nothing again? What? That's mental. Let me copy this code. And what we'll do is, on the other page, I'm going to create a file, index.html. Let me see, Glissa. Right, so this is the file, might put my name in. Nothing. Right, so none, literally none of them what? Right, so it could be any of them because they're all rubbish. Right, so let me do something else instead of free. Right, make me a simple one page floppy birds game. Right, so apparently they're just not good enough. I mean, it could be me could be my computer, because I know that sometimes I have to blame my computer because it's uh, it's actually just a normal M1 Mac, but sometimes when you try to render it with whatever dodgy 3GS that they use, um, it tries to steal too much RAM. Although when I was doing that with Gemini, I was just blaming Gemini, because Gemini is a bit, you know, it's made by Google. Google make Chrome. Chrome likes to have 32 gig of RAM just for browsing, which is crazy. So if we go to the first one here, you can see that is this already made. That's already made. That's very cool. Click press right. At this point, I don't have like a canvas in here. That's fine. I'm sure we can probably try and get the API key and put it into Bolt or something. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, let me. Put this in the other page and we'll bring this over. Boom. Right, so this here is, oh, from what I recall, this is pretty identical to ChatGPT. <laughs> Let's have a look and see. So click edit, we'll open up, we'll preview. Yeah, I mean, that is the, that is the same game, right? Hey, I'm amazing at this. Let me just die. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Just restarts. I mean, that is the same game. Now, if we go to Gemini, you can see that Gemini is so much different. I mean, it doesn't render. It doesn't apparently work. But <laughs> so much different format. So, such a different format. Let's see Grok. So, Grok is actually really similar to the um, to this one. Maybe we need to put them side by side. Let me see Claude, and then we'll go from there. Oh, yeah, Claude, I mean, <laughs> well, Claude's got, like, <laughs> moving clouds. That is so cool. And here I am complaining, saying Claude's rubbish, and when they're out here doing this. All right, so I think we can pretty much say it's not Claude. 
we could say it might be Grok, it's not Gemini. So we'll say Grok or ChatGPT. Yeah, so I mean, my hunch out of this here is that people are writing it's either 4.0, fine tuned, or open source. Um, open source ChatGPT. I think it's probably open source ChatGPT. The fact that they're stealthed it like this makes me think that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you want to see the prompts or get these web pages, come over to Applied AI and we'll get them there. Also join Applied AI if you want to learn how to apply AI. You're sick of templates, you want to just learn the fundamentals and you want to have someone to talk to, there's calls with me once a week and I'm also on Messenger on school 24-7 other than when I'm sleeping for like six hours of the night. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Take care and I'll see you later.